In this lesson, we will learn how to remove a CSS class from the selected element. We can easily achieve this using a built-in method provided by jQuery that is remove class. In this lesson, we will understand the concept and we'll also see some coding examples. Let us start. So to remove a CSS class from the selected element, use the remove class method. This is a built-in method provided by jQuery. So we will first see how to remove a single class. In the second example, we will see how to remove a single class from different elements. That is from different HTML elements on a web page. So let us start. We will first see how to remove a single class. To remove a single class, we will use the remove class method. Okay. Let us see an example in which uh, we will remove a single class demo. Let's say we have a demo class wherein we have set the CSS style. We will remove that class from the selected element. Let us see the example. Here we are using VS code. We have created the following folder jQuery tutorial on the desktop and these are our files. Let us create a new HTML file for this lesson. Right click here. Click new file. Add the name of the HTML file. I'll add index42.html. So now let us see the structure of the web page when we insert jQuery. I have copied this and pasted it here. Okay. So this is the structure of our web page. We have added uh, jQuery using jQuery CDN and this is our jQuery code. We will add the code inside this. Okay. First, let us set the HTML elements in the body tag. So here I have set the H1 heading. Okay. I'll also set a P tag just for a sample text and also a button. So when we will click this button, the CSS class will remove, remove a single class. Okay. Let us style this. I'll set a class. Let's say demo. We will style this first. To style, we will use the style element just above the closing head. Okay. Mention the style element and uh, style the demo class name let's say i'll set background color to red and text color to white okay that's it okay so we have styled the demo class we will remove this class only okay first we will set the class we will uh, remove the class on the click of a button so we will use the click event okay First, let us set our click event. Okay. Okay. We have set it. That's it. Here I'll set the button. Okay. Obviously we will click the button. Then we will remove the class. We already set the class for the H1 heading. So now let us remove it. Okay. I'll just show you. We will remove using the remove class method. Okay. Here mention the selected element I told you from where we need to remove the class. So it was H1 obviously here H1. Okay. And remove class, which class you want to remove? We want to remove the following single class. We have a single class right now. And we have mentioned the same. Okay. That's it. Now I'll go to file, save all, right click, open in default browser. Here you can see on the web page, our style was background color red and text color white for the H1 heading. So we applied it successfully. 
but here we are removing this class. So when I'll click remove a single class, the Studiopedia will appear like the default text color, the default background color. I'll click on it. Here it is. So our H1 heading is visible without the without the following class because we have used the remove class method. Let us see the next example. Okay, now we will see how to remove a single class from different elements. We will use the same example and the same remove class method will be used. In the previous example, we removed a single class demo from a single element H1. I hope you remember. Now we will remove this demo class from multiple elements. Let's say H1, H2 and H3. All the three heading levels. Let us see the example to understand the concept. Let us create a new file. Right click new file index43.html Okay, let me take the code, the previous code. I can click here or here also index42.html I'll right click copy and right click paste here. Okay. Now what we need to do, we need to remove a single class from different elements. First we will set elements, HTML elements here. Here we were having heading 1 and this was a demo text. Let me first set the text for the button. Here we are removing a single class from different elements. And I'll just copy this and set it here h2 h3. That's it. I'll keep the class name as same and I told you h2 and h3. Okay, let us also change the heading text just for our example. Okay, this was heading 1, heading 2 and heading 3 with similar classes. We will remove this single class from all the three elements. And uh, the following was our demo class which we have used for the multiple elements. The same background red and text color white. Here we have set the button that is on the click of this button using the click event we will remove classes from multiple elements. So this is our button which we will click to remove the CSS classes from different elements. But here we have set only H1. To set multiple elements and remove a class from all these elements just use comma and mention the multiple elements name that's it. So now on the click of a button, the demo class will get removed for H1, H2 and H3. That is H1, H2 and H3. Let's see. Go to file. Save all. Right click. Open in default browser. Here it is. We have same styles for H1 h2 and h3 if you remember background red and text color white when i'll click on the button all these styles will remove okay and we will have the normal settings styles for h1 h2 and h3 i'll click on it okay here it is so guys in this way we can use the remove class method to remove a single class Using the remove class method, we removed a single class from different elements. Okay, a single class from different elements H1, H2, and H3. So, in this video, we saw how we can use the remove class method. We removed a single class, then we also saw how to remove a single class from different HTML elements. Thank you for watching the video.